Good Tuesday morning to you. Yesterday we looked at the aspect of how Jesus Christ has brought unity to all mankind and that all of the messages of all the great prophets of the Old Testament pointed always to the Messiahship of Jesus, that the promised land, the, the, the land, the blessing, and a people. And, and God told Abraham, I will bless you, Abraham, and you will have as many descendants as the stars in the sky, which meant that all of the people of the kingdom of God and the Hebrew people who've been redeemed through the love of God, through the Old Testament, through the New Testament, through the Messiahship of Jesus, who's ushered in the kingdom of God forever. That is the promised land. That's where we're headed. Uh, in the Old Testament, the Hebrew people were given a promised land so that they could be God's people and usher in God's love. Now, in the New Testament, when Jesus opened up the door for the Gentiles and the rest of the world to be saved, our Hebrew brethren could not handle that. But let me share something with you that foreshadowed the very essence of Scripture we'll be looking at tomorrow also. In Joel, Old Testament, listen to this. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. And your young men will see visions. Let me read this to you one more time. Old Testament, Joel. And after all of this, afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. And young men will see visions. This was the prophecy of the Messiah. The prophecy of the kingdom to come. That we're living in now. Because we're not living in the last days. We're living in the last day of creation. The last day in preparation for the coming of the kingdom of God, the ultimate promised land. Joel said, in that time afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all people. That was the prophecy of the Messiah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. And that is the prophecy of God, fulfilled in John 3, 16 and 17. God bless you. May we walk in this Tuesday together. May we walk and understand what it means to walk in the Spirit of God. And hold the hand of Jesus Christ. Let him encourage us and lead us and forgive us and give us hope and give us dreams and visions and relish in his spirit. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for your love and for your care. Watch over us on this Tuesday that we are your people and help us to take what we have learned to be your people and to pass it to other people and give them the invitation so that they can become the sons and the daughters of God. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, amen. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday.